So we're up in Windy Glasgow today because a few years ago, Charlie Glancy won his dream car, the brand new Ariel Atom 4. Now, he actually got the car delivered last year, but we've not yet caught up with him. So I know he's gonna be at home today. Let's go see if he's in his garage so we can check out his brand new Ariel Atom. Charlie, great to see you. Christian, how are you doing? I'm very well, how are you? I'm brilliant, thanks. This is the perfect place to have a car like this. Yes, brilliant. I, I mean, it looks stunning. I've not yet seen it in the flesh. Now, you did send us a few pictures when it came off the back of the lorry when Ariel delivered it to you up here in Glasgow, but to see it in the flesh, it looks awesome. I bet you mega happy. Yeah, it certainly turns heads. <laughs> I bet it does. Yeah. So you went for the blue. I know, I mean, it's basically just that panel and obviously the bit at the back. It's the brand new four that you won, so it just looks so cool. What made you pick the blue? Just blue is my favourite colour. Um, yeah. Um, simple as that. Simple as that, yeah. <laughs> this is part of the fun of, of owning one of these, is just getting in it. I mean, it's seriously a proper track car. Look at this. Now, Charlie, you know that I love these cars because when we surprised you, I told you how much I love them, and you even got to have a spin in one, didn't you? Yes, and Bruntingthorpe. Yeah, Bruntingthorpe. So we flew you down from Glasgow, I remember, like it was yesterday. When we took the cover off the aerial atom that we had there, what was going through your head? Disbelief, really. I just couldn't believe it. It was just a bit one of the best days. Now, I know with aerial products, there are so much customization you can do, not just with the color, but of course, what's also bolted onto the car. What did you pick from the options list? Uh, just really the ones that couldn't be retrofitted later uh, included gunmetal chassis, yep. limited slip diff, yep. baffled love, sump. Love a limited slip diff. Well, this engine, so this is obviously taken out of a Honda Civic Type yeah, R, yeah. isn't it? It's a two litre turbocharged engine. I mean, even without it run in, it must be electric to drive. Oh yeah, just the buzz through the whole car, the, the directness of the steering, the brakes, everything that's just wired in. I mean, to have a Type R engine sat literally right there is electric to begin with, and we're not even going anywhere. It's a shame it's a rubbish day today because we could have gone for a spin, but what a car. And I'll tell you what, I, I said it at the beginning, Charlie, but this is such a cool garage to have it in. I would die for one of these to have your dream track car in this spec as well. I love the blue, I love the number plate. Yes. Saw what you did there, Charlie Glancy, love the number plate. And it's just such a cool car. I'm massively jealous, but massive congrats. And I, I hope you have many, many very fast miles in this car because it is yes. a serious bit of kit. So from Thanks, me yes. and BOTB, once again, huge congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough. It's, it's brilliant. Not a problem. It's absolutely our pleasure. <laughs>